Okay, well. I mean, we're, we're just all being quiet for Landon's sake right now. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, hello, where'd you come from? And now you're dead. You, you're, t how did you survive this long? three bags since I found two fucking med kits. Well, I just got demonetized. <laughs> this kid out here cursing. <laughs> Bruh. Demonetized. Dude, I'm streaming Peggle too, Wolfman. I didn't you really know think... you were already streaming. You think anybody <laughs> watching a Peggle 2 gameplay stream is gonna expect to hear cursing? You should just expect cursing regardless of what the hell you're doing. <laughs> like... That's just what our world is nowadays. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, are we going somewhere? Teammate, why do you keep... okay. These got like drops, baby. <laughs> I'm just playing. That's what that's something a streamer would say. So, oh, these got so like drops. What, what, e what, e what exactly is a peggle, anyways? It's a game, it's like a pachinko, but you aim the ball where you want to shoot it, and uh, it hits pegs on the way down. I know why it's called peggle. Yeah, get pegged. Well. I got demonetized. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you guys, you guys just ruining my, ruining my stream. It's not like you're gonna make money off of it, anyways. What if one yeah, day I do get famous, and then they come back to these streams, and they're like, "Oh yeah, he said this, this, and this." His friends are literal Why don't racists. I just say the N word right now. Like, then I have to say I'm black as a disclaimer because <laughs> I'm not about to take the heat on that. <laughs> I gotta say I'm black as a disclaimer. <laughs> no, you should see how many black people get away with saying it on YouTube because of the fact that they're, they're black. black. And it'd be racist if YouTube did anything against it. Yeah. Racism. Well, it wouldn't actually be racist, but I thought I dude, I would switch over I'd switch sides so fast and be like Black Lives Matter. You know, my life matters. Your life doesn't YouTube. You obey me now. Give me money, please, because you oppressing me. <laughs> I would switch I would like freaking hate that cause, but bro, I would switch sides so fast. <laughs> To use it for my own advantage. To be real honest. I wonder how many white people want to be black right now. Let's be honest. <laughs> All those white girls posting the, the black square. I'm fighting for your cause. Well, I know you're not. I'm fighting for your. I'm like not doing. <laughs> Black like, no, Square is not. not doing anything for me. Did it? Did it pull me out the gutter? Did it save me from getting shot? Did it shot? pull me out the gutter? <laughs> <laughs> All it did was boost your likes. It did nothing for me whatsoever. <laughs> White chicks, I swear. Wolf, you should know you're with one. Guy, right, come on, bro. Uh, but she ain't one of those. Uh, is she Latina? Are you finally admitting it? I don't know what race she is. You gotta ask her, man. That just seems like something you just don't ask people. No, dude, just go on the top. Like you start off talking about yourself before you ask them. That's the. But that's she already knows I'm. 
She already knows what I am. She already knows you're British and German and all that stuff. Yeah. No, you gotta t Okay, all right. Here's the thing. The way the way you talk to women, and like here's the thing. Okay, women dudes I know her. Dudes only get it mostly half right. You are supposed to talk about yourself, but what you do is you use talking about yourself as a segue to get to know them. So you start off talking about what games you're playing, and then you ask, "Do you play games?" Instead of just straight up asking them, "Hey, girl, do you play games?" Like, no. Because, like I said, conversations work both right ways. If you just start off talking about them, all they're going to do is talk about themselves. And it's going to be a boring conversation. Or, if you do just start asking about them, and, like, it's before you're dating them, you're just going to sound like a creep. <laughs> like, imagine walking up to a girl and be like, hey, girl, do you, uh, do you play video games? And be like, do I know you? Like, what you want to do is go up to him, say hi, treat him like a human being, be like, me and my friends were planning on going here, and we saw you and figured, you know, would you like to hang out with us? And if they say no, then just back off. Don't be a creep. Don't stand next to him and be all like, but we really feel like you should be with us. Like, no, if you missed out on your chance, you missed out on your chance, okay? There's like a billions of other fish in the sea, all right? All right, Landon, you ready for my story about Disneyland now? Uh, one more squad, sorry. Oh my, oh my gosh, okay. Oh, so close to that free ball. Wait, hold on. Can't hit the orange pick. Oof. No, 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 no! No! Run, run boy, run! I want to say something, but I can't because he's streaming. Say it. It's all right. You already ruined my I, stream. No, 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 no! This will get you banned. I don't care. I'm good. As long as it's not worse than Belle Delphine Lily showing up naked on YouTube, I think I'm okay. Say um, it. I think YouTube would take far more offense to it. Just say it, dude. You said run, right? So, so back in the schoolyard in like elementary. <laughs> um, don't ask why. I don't even remember where it came from, but there, there was always just someone that would go, run, nigga, 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 nigga run, <laughs> just, just, just at. Okay. I, I, I won't. I won't. I won't go any more into detail than that. Just because that already. You can tell your story now. I won. You won? Yeah. Congrats, bro. Congrats. Cute. No. Second game of the night. All right. So if you live in Southern California, they have this thing called, um, they call have this thing called Grad Night, right? And what Grad Night is is, like, okay. So first, I should say that it's actually a very normal thing for us to be going to, uh amusement parks if you live in southern california go to school because uh in middle school you're allowed to go to six flags which is honestly the better option than disneyland anyway because at six flags they actually take you on a day where there's not there's barely any people around only schools are allowed and stuff like that but uh disney okay so grad night is like this all right they're like you gotta come very early in the morning because it's a long drive to Anaheim, and they're like, you have to. Anaheim. There's seriously a place called Anaheim. Yes. I'm gonna start eating my subway. You, you, you've never heard of the Anaheim Angels? The baseball nope, team. I have. Wow. Just gonna be honest. No. Yeah, the ba there's a baseball. We have a we have two baseball teams here in California. We have the Dodgers and we have the Anaheim Angels. And depending on which depending on which one is good, that's the one we root for. But uh Yeah. So How first race in Texas if if the Astros just get hated by Rangers fans and Rangers get hated on by Astros fans no matter what. So like first off, 
to even be on the grant night thing, it was like what, a hundred and twenty bucks or something, Malcolm? How much was the price for grant night? Yeah, like one twenty five. So you had to pay like one twenty five to even be on the list to go on this trip. And yes, it's a list, meaning if you didn't sign up in time. And this is for college kids? No, it's for uh, high school kids. Oh. It's it's I graduation, so they call it grad night. That... And this is oh. for kids all around Southern California. I mean, students all around Southern California. The thing is, though, is that they don't close off the park to people who are not students. So. Oh. So it's a bunch of fucking. So, so, so think about how many people show up on Disneyland on a normal day and how long the lines are. Then multiply that with all the schools in Southern California. And there's your problem. So I'm on this trip, right? And it's already a red flag when you, when you hear that you're supposed to bring your own money on the trip because they don't, they don't have lunches for you. They don't have, uh, you know, like have any water or anything. The only thing that you get when you go on grad night is you get to ride on all the rides for free. That's the only thing. So, and keep in mind, I'm a diabetic too. So, like, if I needed something to eat, like, I was put and I was out of money, I was pretty much boned. So, grad night, right? Like, I'm r walking around Disneyland, and I'm like, all the rides have obscenely long lines. The line for Space Mountain is pouring out of Tomorrowland. Like, it goes around Tomorrowland and it continued out of Tomorrowland. I was like, yeah, I'm not getting on Space Mountain. Uh, all the other rides, including the little <laughs> kitty roller coasters, long lines beyond the eye can see. So I was like, yeah, I'm not getting on any rides, and I didn't. I didn't get... Shoot. I didn't get on a single ride the entire time I was there. But what I did do was I ate when I was supposed to, my three meals a day. Which, by the way, the prices at Disneyland, like, holy freaking crap, bro. They're unbelievable. Oh, yeah. I think a, a dollar like bag club is bad. And... Yeah. A dollar bag of chips, like, you know, little tiny singlets that you get out of those, like, variety $5. packs. Yeah, like five dollars, bro. Twenty dollars for a singular hot dog with some toppings on it. I was like, bro, like this this place is a scam. No place to charge your phone. You have to buy these portable chargers that they have there. So my phone's like near dying near the end. I hear the same crusty music in uh, downtown Disney the entire time. Watch the downtown Disney parade like twice as I'm sitting there comp contemplating the mistake I made. The one thing I did do while I was there was it was around the time when the last, the latest uh, Pirates of the Caribbean film was coming out. So uh, they had a sneak peek at the film that you can go and watch before the movie came out. And I went to watch that and I was like, oh, this movie's interesting. Like, granted, I didn't want to see it in theaters, but when I got the chance, I was like, fine, I guess I will. It, it wasn't it wasn't anything to write home about, to be honest. But, um, the worst part, though, was it was like around 7 o'clock when I realized that I was trapped. <laughs> okay? Because, all right, like, the thing about grad night is that it's an all day affair. They wake like they told you to be there early for the long drive there. You get there, you're there the whole entire day. And you've only got a bus to get home, right? Yes, and you have to, you're there until 12 o'clock at night right. and you leave and get get back to the school at like 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'm sitting there oh and my God. I'm sitting there in downtown Disney, bro. Like, no money. My insulin is low. I'm just like, I'm just like, okay, what, what the heck am I supposed to do? And I'm just trapped. And I'm just like waiting for nighttime in downtown Disney, bro. 
like I'm, I'm occasionally walking around because I want to look like some weirdo just sitting there not having fun. But like, I'm just not having a good time, bro. And like, they're like, like they give this warning, right? Because the reason why I'm in downtown Disney anyway, because it's like in California Adventure. The reason why is because they say you have to be in California Adventure by 8 o'clock. Because if you're not there by 8 o'clock and you're out in the main park, you're going to be locked out and you're going to have to call your parents to get home. Because the buses will leave without you if you're not there. They do not God. take count of students or anything. And I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. Like, I'm like, I'm just going to stay here in downtown Disney so I don't get left behind. And they're like, so so I'm just sitting there waiting. And like, like 8 o'clock comes around and the all the students, so like all the students from various schools around Southern California, start pouring in to, to this place I'm in. And I'm just like, like... What exactly is about to go on here? Like, why they all want us here? And it turns out that there's a light show that they host for the graduate students. And it's like, they're like, they're like celebrating like, good job, class of uh, whatever year it was I graduated. I completely forgot. But, um, I was just like, oh, it was like, how, it do, was you like, great, how do you forget your graduate year? Because it was not that important. But it was, it was pretty cool. Except for the fact that I found out half my friends were drunk because they're selling drinks to minors. Huh? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay. I could have been getting drunk this entire time. Could have gotten crunk. What is it? Haven't you already been drunk this entire time? But like, needless to say, like, all my friends were drunk. And I had to go home on the bus I couldn't sit next to my friends and it was like it was just a long awkward ride home because there's this girl who also got separated from her friends and I'm just sitting next to her the whole ride home and I'm like don't fall asleep don't fall asleep because I know if I fall asleep I'm gonna accidentally like lay my head on her shoulder and it's gonna be the most awkward thing so I'm sitting there holding, cringing my legs to hold myself in place. And I stay awake the whole car ride home. And it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm already exhausted, bro. I was like, dude, I, dude, like when my mom came to pick me up, it was like being picked up from like the worst day of school, bro. Like I hugged her and everything. I was like, thanks, mom. And uh, I'm never going back to Disneyland again. Don't, don't ever, don't ever send me there again. I was that that had to be the worst theme park experience I ever had in my life, bro. And since then, I've never been to a theme park because it's it's not it's not worth it. It's not it's not worth the hassle. Like I said, theme parks are literally meant to do one thing: waste all your money. <laughs> so if you literally paid the admission fee and nothing else, well, uh, prepare to have a very short trip in Disneyland, my friend. And if you just so happen to be the unfortunate student who paid the admission price and uh, didn't bring any other money to grad night, welcome to prison, pretty much. Because you're not going to have any fun on any rides, because every ride is has super long lines. You're not going to get any food, so you're going to go hungry. And uh, you're, you're just stuck there at the park until 12 o'clock at night. And I'm just like, that's not fun at all. Oh, man. Wolfie, well, did you like my little messages throughout the entire story? Mm-hmm. Honestly, if I had to equate... Cat, my... did you just... If I had to equate my... Drop a uh, bomb? My experience with Disneyland... It'd be like that freaking amusement park in near. It's all cool and pretty on the outside, and then you get inside and you realize the mouse wants his money. And if you don't have money to pay the mouse, you have kids. you're done. I 
I'll say this. I had a more fun time at uh, Six Flags. Because like I said, they shut off the whole park to everyone except students, which is great. Um, and uh, you get to go on any God. ride for free. This yearly suit makes no sense. It's green in the desert. <laughs> they had sack lunches for everyone in case for people who didn't bring their own. And I was just like, this this is freaking amazing, bro. Like, if I wasn't so scared of roller coasters, I would have went on all the rides. Like, bro, I'm scared to death of roller coasters simply because of a luck issue. <laughs> Let me be real honest. I'd be like, with my luck, bro, it's going to be that one day where uh, Superman, Superman gets stuck at the top. And I'm just like... I don't want. I don't want to be there. <laughs> be real honest with you. You go up Superman backwards too. <laughs> I'm gonna be staring at the ground from the top of the roller coaster. Like no, <laughs> I don't feel like doing that, bro. I think I rode like w two rides. One of them was a roller coaster that that suspended roller coaster ninja, and uh, the the little pinwheel. Uh, ride Wonder Woman where like it's a little thing that they strap you to a wall and it's like it spins oh, yeah. and then the gyration effect keeps you against the wall so when they lift you vertically you're stuck to the wall you know what I mean yeah my, my only worry about those is someone fucking vomiting I saw somebody stra like strip off their Seat belt during that, and I was like, "What?" And I, I see it. There was a like a really cheap uh, part, like carnival kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I went to, and someone took their seat belt off and like stood on the side. I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, it stood tired. on the side." <laughs> I think that's why they have like one person who's in like. Like, they have a person who works for the park in those rides, because if they see anything like that, they'll reprimand you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good thing I didn't get on Green Lantern while I was there, because I was actually tempted. Oh my god. You guys know the reason why uh, Six Flags California Green Lantern was taken away, right? I... They call it they call it the baby killer because it uh it it uh, crushes your testicles because of the type of seatbelt that they have on it and the kind of ride it is. So uh, a lot of people, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just not that fun of a ride. And it's funny because I was actually thinking about getting on that ride while I was there, and thank God I didn't. Oh, this sucked. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm trying to like hit every peg, but this is like getting every... F keeps getting messed up, bro. Oh my gosh, restart. Just restart. I'm going to use Bjorn on this one. What is your uh, download at now, Wolfman? I can't check right now. Oh, okay. Bruh! I'm about to hop on Apex with Lando. Oh, that's annoying as fuck. I got second place. It's got a four hour burst, but that's because I'm fucking playing something. Yeah. I usually play single player games every time I download stuff. I hate the fact that my hands sweat for no reason. <laughs> Whatever happened to Astro World, Wolfman? I know you guys had a Six Flags called Astro World. It was like in Houston somewhere. Is that before your time or something? B 
Yes, probably. Yeah. Six Flags Astral World. And Six Flags Magic Mountain. We have like, like they they keep on having like this claim that keeps going between uh. Now we've only got um. Six Flags uh, uh over Texas, really. That's the main one we have. Hmm. I would love to know how much damage I did to that last guy. I don't know. We'll never know. They uh, we have this. We have like. They have this thing that keeps going around, like, the most record-breaking person. If I just found an actual fucking sniper rifle, I would've won that last engagement, but nope, I had to find a fucking SKS. <sighs> so, the lesson of the story is don't go to Disneyland. Okay. The lesson of this story is don't keep an SKS, find something better. Right. <laughs> God, I fucking hate the SKS so much. Uh, so, you guys down for uh, putting all our money together to go to uh, Anime Expo? Fuck no. You don't like Anime Expo? It's not that I don't like it, I don't feel like paying for it. You don't feel like going to Cali? That too. Well, uh, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't mind visiting Cali, I just... I don't want to go. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember the ticket prices for our Anime Expo. To be honest. It's like a hundred bucks, probably. Probably That's more racist. than that. I wouldn't doubt that it's more than a hundred bucks, but... It shouldn't be, but yeah, I mean, maybe. It's Cali. Everything is overpriced. Yeah, it's just stupid though. Like, They're the street workers. The thing is, Anime Expo used except to be. Except for what? Anime Expo. Okay, it's, it's... Never mind. Did you just say except or even? Even. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, but Anime Expo used to be fun back when uh, nobody knew about it. Like it was just a thing amongst. No, leaves. no, no. It's literally like. But Instagram thanks. fucking yeah. quote unquote pop stars or quote unquote influencers like they they also fucking go to it and yeah. they're all like look at my cosplay oh my god oh my god like no yeah thanks no. to the advent of Twitter and pretty much Instagram. every yeah I'm Mr. Me seeks look at me every social media and all their little models and stuff now. Like, everybody's like, you got artists who are like, yeah, I'm gonna hold a panel at Anime Expo. You got freaking, you got cosplays, of course, who are like, I'm gonna be at Anime Expo. I'm gonna be dressed up as this, da 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 da. You know, they have strict guidelines now on what you could do. Like, there used to be, I don't think I've told you guys this story, but yeah, there used to be this guy. Like, of course, I've never went to Anime Expo, but my, uh, my, the supervisor at our school, at our middle school, said he used to go. Or, like, he still goes, actually, but... Alright, he told us the story of this guy they call Man Fay. <laughs> Alright? Now, you should know anything with, like, the term man before it, and then whatever anime character afterward, does not mean anything good. But, yeah, there's this guy named Man Fay who shows up at anime, who... Oh, I'm not sure if he still goes... But he, he like, <laughs> alright, so you, have you, any of you guys watched Cowboy Bebop? No, but I know it's popular as fuck. Okay, well, there's this character in Cowboy Bebop named Faye. It's the female uh, crew member who was on the ship with them. And <laughs> this guy actually goes there dressed up as her. And it's not like some, like, we're not talking about like traps Trap. nowadays or anything like that no no yeah. no no no. we're talking about like fat neck beard type guy who i'm guessing did it ironically yeah of course he does it ironically who, who's gonna do this unironically i don't know people nowadays i mean yeah me. nowadays i can see that happening because of like social standards have changed and whatnot but 
like like I said, that's probably the reason why he wouldn't do it anymore because you know the trans community is like they don't take cross dressing as a joke as a joke anymore. Like it's not funny to them. They see it as offensive. It, it's like it goes back to my blackface joke earlier. It's like it's one thing if you're cross dressing. Like, even if you're, if you look that way, like, even if you're, like, a fat neck beard, if you're cross-dressing because you think you're trans, it's not offensive for some strange reason. But if you're cross-dressing as a joke, all of a sudden it's offensive. I'm like, like, both look funny in my opinion, but one I can't make fun of and one I can't, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's not streaming anymore, you can actually say it now. You you can say whatever, Lando, it doesn't matter. Nobody watches these crusty streams anyway. Oh, I don't like saying that word. I just kept saying hard art or wolf wolfy thinking he might say it, or just sitting here going like he's laughing, so might as well just do that. God, landing you're so fucking funny. Now you're just making me feel worse. My God, you're so fucking funny. I will stab you. <laughs> Make yeah. me laugh more, landing. Quite honest, dude. Stop. I think Wolfie. I just did a trap voice Wolfie. without realizing. Yeah, you're like now I know how you feel when I do it. To be real honest. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Wait, to be on the other side voice. of that. Yeah. Like, oh my god, landing. <laughs> that. It wasn't very well done, but like, it's still, still there. But, uh. <clears throat> but yeah, bro. Sure Actually, I'm like, like, like I said, I'm kind of tempted not to go to Anime Expo because, simply because it's not the same as it used to be. You have a lot less of the, it's, it's weird. The more fans go, the more a lot less of the original anime type content that shows up there. You know what I mean? Mm hmm So, like, I think they... I wonder. I actually wonder, because I, I could be wrong, but last I heard, the Maid Cafe got shut down. And Why would that get shut down there. of all things? Because social standards. I'm not entirely sure, but... Like I said, I it could it, still be there, but I'm not entirely sure. If it got shut down, I, I definitely don't want to go. I gotta check. I'll check for you. We'll put a card and stay here a bit longer. What the? <gasps> no! I mean, guess it got shut down. No, I, I didn't look it up yet. I got it. So, are we gonna play Apex or not? Get soon. I am. I'm hopping on right now. I just lost terribly. This man, Thighs is rent a 